Hey everybody, this is Lord of the Jimmy, and I'm here with Brandon Boyd and Will Nevison. Um, so prepare yourselves, this is going to be a very long announcement video. Uh, so first of all, the big question on everybody's mind, what is the future of Super Mario Guy? Will there be a season three? Well, after we finished uh, episode 15, um, the five of us got together and we talked about it, and the consensus was everybody wants to continue. I definitely want to see this show continue. It's a fun show to do. I like being able to improvise. I know I definitely, and I know everyone else definitely, wants to make more episodes here in the future. So I think we are going to continue. We do plan on making season three. However, we want to take a break. We all definitely do deserve a break. A lot of us have been working hard, and I think everyone who has enough sense would agree that we deserve it. Quite honestly, this last season was a headache. Aside from my work schedule, which really got in the way of trying to get all these episodes done, just all the obstacles we had to go through. You know, I know he works his ass off for this, and just to make people happy, to keep them entertained. And he's doing this all for free. He's not getting paid a dime for this at all. I know there was a lot of trouble with episode 13 after the whole Fox and Seth MacFarlane situation. What almost killed the series was episode 13 because everything was going great at that point. Uh, Celeste was back. We had AJ doing some really great animation for us. And it looked like everything was going to be great. We planned this half an hour episode. That's originally what episode 13 was going to be. And unfortunately, the first uh, problem came. YouTube took away our ability to make videos longer than 15 minutes. So there was the first problem. Me and Jimmy were actually talking on Messenger one night, and it was just as he was about to put the episode online, episode 13, or what it was at the time. We changed it a little bit. And he just let me know. said, like, all right, we are about to put the episode up. It's like, sweet, I'll be one of the first to watch it. And then all of a sudden, you get a message just like, this is not good. I'm like, why? What's up? I got a notice from YouTube that episodes 4, 6, and 10 had been taken down due to copyright. And the copyright was from Fox. And that was pretty much going to be the end of Super Mario Guy. What could I do? Everyone knows about that. And we kept everyone here in the, in the know because we wanted people to know what was going on. And we wanted to keep producing Super Mario Guy episodes, even though we had to kind of fight some hurdles. And we fought those battles. And man, did we win. Uh, only to find out that we had to face the battles with trolls afterwards. But we're not worrying about them now because... Trolls will be trolls. There's really not much you can do about them. And then we had to make episode 14. And 14 was too long, so we had to make episode 15. And really, when I wrote down, that's it, I'm done with the show, that was really out of frustration. And I pretty much was ready to give up. But I know that the you guys were really saying, hey, come on, we really enjoy what you do. We'll get, you know, take the time you need. And I really do appreciate that. So I think at this point, we know you guys love these shows and you want us to continue. So we'll continue. But we really need a break. We're all getting very, very busy. Celeste to start her going to college here shortly, um, probably in the next month, really. Me... Um, right now, I'm facing some troubles with my job, and I might be having to get a new one. It's, that might mean moving to the place. So that's a mess of my own right there, And which if I'm going to be so busy to involve with that, then there's going to be no Super Mario guy on my end, and I know people won't like that. Just give us a, uh, some time, and when we come back, though, we have a new format. Um, before, the idea of the show was I just made an episode whenever I felt like it, and I just went episode by episode by episode. This time, we're going to write the entire season three, all, uh, whatever, seven or eight or nine episodes of it, and we're going to start working on it all at the same time. I love the idea. It makes it more structured. Um, it gives us a little bit more time as, for us as writers to kind of make a little more, have a little more continuity, if you will. 
like basically we could just have a kind of writing session it just it's easier to write episode just kind of an episodic manner plus also being able to w release it on like a release structure so like every two three weeks even if we were able to guarantee that they got an episode a month i think that they'll be much better than kind of leaving people in wait and i think um you guys will appreciate that a lot more um you know if delays happen they might happen but they'll you know be uh, they might not happen. We do, however, plan on uh, making more videos. Um, I do have a couple of Schwarzenegger and Stallone videos in the works. Uh, I don't know if you guys like those or not, but do check them out because, uh, you know, they help the channel anyway. If you definitely like Jimmy's videos, you should check out some of my stuff too. At, uh, uh, my YouTube username is Will Novison. I do Will and the Jerks, where I, where Every week or every other week or so, I get a bunch of people together to riff on some shitty cartoons. And sometimes I even do good stuff, like Mighty Orbots, I've done three times. Some others that I have done in the past, I may do again, a different episode with a different group. Definitely check it out. As far as the other projects go, um, our animator, our excellent animator, AJ, he's definitely got some things in the work. He just let us know about, he has an idea, he may want to do some things with stop motion. Um, he's still kind of working out the kinks with that, but it'll be it'll be Super Mario guy related, he says. So that'll be something to look into. Will and the Jerks, absolutely. We have an idea for possibly a DK series. For those of you who came on the radio chat back when we were kind of on hiatus a little bit, you heard a, um, initial plans for that. So that's something else we got. And also, I have some kind of ideas in the work for my own channel as well. Um, I really haven't put out a video on my channel since the end of 2009, and they're mostly just crappy videos of me singing and stuff like that, so I'll probably have to get rid of those shortly. But I have some good ideas I feel in mind, of which I'm going to use some to help from Jimmy and Will and Celeste and anyone else is willing to help. Um, so definitely, if you want to see some more better, cool videos from someone awesome like me, then subscribe to my channel. Winning! I do plan on putting out the uh, If I Only Had the Stars song pretty soon. Um, actually, I think AJ is going to make a video for the If I Only Had the Stars song, and I'll give him an MP3 so that you guys can download it from his video. I'm also going to upload the Armed Boss remix that I had in episode 15. And if there's anything else you want to hear, just let me know. I'll, I'll try to see what I can do about it. I also wanted to address some complaints I've been reading in some of the comments, specifically about the religious jokes. Now, what you need to understand is that this is a comedy show. If you watch Family Guy, they make a lot of jokes about religion, and some that are way, way more offensive than what we do. In episode 15, I actually had a lot of religious jokes I was going to include in the episode, and unfortunately, due to time, I just ended up taking them out because I didn't think they were that funny anyway. But this is also a fantasy world. And in the show, God is personified as this uh, incompetent womanizer. That's not supposed to be the real God. I could have named him anything else. I could have called him the leader of the Star Road or boss or anything like that. It would have been completely different. I just thought God was a funny name and that this is God and Gino's uh, you know, messenger of God. I thought it was funny. And I think a lot of people do enjoy it, but some people are unhappy with these religious jokes. I can understand as far as the whole religious jokes go, because, you know, we live in a kind of society where, unfortunately, there's some, I wouldn't say overly, but there's still some people that could be a little oversensitive at times. And, you know, without delving too deep as far as my religious background, my beliefs, yada, 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 I think one of the most important things about comedy is you really need to be able to laugh at yourself, laugh at your own faults before you can laugh at others. I mean, I laugh at myself all the time. Um, I consider myself a Republican, and yet whenever I see, you know, jokes about Rush Limbaugh or how George W. Bush is so stupid, I love those things, man, because I find it funny. You know, does that mean that I can I also laugh at jokes about Democrats? Absolutely. But still, like I said, it was really important to basically be able to find humor and 
everything. It's a big internet out there. You can go somewhere else. You don't have to... St if you don't like what you hear, just go somewhere else. I am a big believer in something that George Carlin once said, which is, I like to find where the line might be drawn and deliberately cross it. Remember, this is an adult show. This show is not meant for kids. It's not even really meant for teenagers. This isn't meant for adults. Family Guy is an adult show. Now, I realize there's uh, people in their teen years who are mature enough to uh, get these jokes, but if you're not, you don't have to watch them. I don't put those viewer discretion signs up there for nothing. They're there for a reason. So if you're easily offended by some of this material, um, I would suggest looking for another show to watch. If you can't take the heat, get out of the fucking kitchen. What can I say? It's fiction. Laugh about it. You can feel bad about it later, but you're, you know it's still funny. You know it's still funny. That being said, we do plan on making season three, so... Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Uh, don't unsubscribe. We promise we will get season three out eventually. I can't give you an answer of when it's going to be because I honestly don't know. Also, go to supermarioguy.freeforums.org. That's our message board. We've had it since episode five, and it hasn't really taken off, but maybe while we're on hiatus, um, we can sort of keep the series alive on this message board. So go on. Um, make a username, it's free, uh, chat with other Super Mario Guy fans and chat with us, and we'll keep you updated on what's going on. So I'll talk to you all later. Peace out.